Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today it is December 4th of 2016. It's Sunday, Sunday morning. I'm waiting for a delivery and uh, it's coming U.S. Postal Service from Amazon. It is a new monitor. Now there's my current monitor that I'm using. It's one of those uh, 20, I think it's a 25 inch extended wide or whatever it's caused, caused, cause, called. And you can see I can have, uh, you know, like two browsers open side by side or whatever. But uh, I'm going to be getting a 27 inch monitor. And over here you see my audio control box and here is the microphone that I'm using. Of course over here is the computer. There's the Logitech USB webcam. Now when I get the monitor, I'm you know, the monitor is going to go here next to a, uh, I want to say Uber, that's not it. What do you call it? TV, internet service. My mind is just, my mind is going so, anyway, it's, what do you call the TV? Roku, it says right on it. Roku TV, that's a Roku TV set there. So, going to replace the monitor and the speaker system I think is going to be re replaced. Yeah, it will be replaced because the monitor actually has decent, has good uh, built-in sound to it. I know you don't believe, believe it, but it does. Uh, over here is the Amazon Echo. Whoops, uh oh, it heard me. I uh, wasn't able to understand the question I heard. Echo, what is the temperature? Right now in Fort Worth, it's 50 degrees with cloudy skies. Today's forecast has lots of clouds, with a high of 58 degrees and a low of 47 degrees. I'm using this although this has built-in speakers, you know, I'm using this speaker down here and uh, I'm going to make a change in that today because of the I'm, uh, by the way the reason it responded to ECHO when you get it, it is uh, set up to use which I keep forgetting ah that's why I changed the name. Well, you have a choice of three names. Uh, and I can't remember the name. That's why I changed it. You have a choice of Amazon. Well, it comes for the for the uh, one one name. Ah. Uh, and you can rename it or get it to respond to uh, Amazon or get it to respond to, remember I'm in the next room, Echo. What time is it? Echo, volume to 10. Echo, what time is it? Echo volume to 10. Echo, what time is it? The time is 10.48 a.m. I'm in this other room. Echo, what time is it? What? Didn't hear me. Maybe because the furnace is going. That's unusual. First time. So... When I get the the new monitor today, I'm 
I'm running Linux here, but with this 22 inch monitor. So I'm going to move the other, the old monitor, the extended wide one, which is not really an old one, 29 inch or whatever, 25 inch. But uh, programming Linux, Ubuntu, or whatever to get it to go with that monitor is a SOB, which does not, in medical terms, is shortness of breath, but we know it means son of a bitch. Uh, so I'm not going to go through that, so I'm just going to format today and put Windows on this computer. So it'll work with that monitor, otherwise I'd have to go into, I've had, in the past, years and years ago, trying to get a monitor the right uh, resolution or whatever, having to go into the edit the file with a word processor and then rename it and put it in it. It's a, it was a bitch. I'm not going to go through that. So uh, so the new monitor goes in the other room. The monitor I'm using now, which is really new too, will be coming in here. Uh, this speaker system I think will be replaced because tomorrow I've got a uh, speaker that's over at the office that the mail people left at the office and I'll pick it up and it it may go here I'm not sure where it's going to go it may go or it may go over to may go over to the echo let's see here Oh, Alexa, that's it. But it won't respond, of course, because I changed it. So your choices are Alexa, which is what it comes with, or you can call it Amazon, or you can call it an ECHO. Echo, play NPR News. Getting the latest episode of NPR Hourly News Summary. Here it is from TuneIn. Live from NPR News in Washington, I'm Barbara Klein. President-elect Trump vows companies that fire workers, move out of the country, and sell products back to the Echo U.S. Stop. will face a 35% tax. In a series of tweets this morning, Echo Trump calls stop. it a forewarning of an expensive mistake. Former Green Party candidate Jill Stein is taking her Stop. fight for a recount of Pennsylvania's presidential votes to federal court. Alicia Bobby Stop. Allen of member station WHYY reports the Stein campaign is dropping its petition in state court after a judge ordered a $1 million bond. Alicia in filing, Stop. Stein's attorney said the state law required bond is too much for the Echo. hundred voters Stop. who brought the suit. Halt. The filing says they are just ordinary in. citizens. Echo in. Seven Wow, that's unusual. That has so much been behind voter irregularities, and that it's suspicious enough to warrant Echo. A statewide. Stop. Oh, okay. I just got it the other day. So, I think that's also, by the way, what's interesting is the. Uh, tablet, which is an Amazon tablet, responds. It, the tablet can be off, but when I'm dealing with the Echo, it pops on. So uh, that's kind of interesting. Ah, got a, a little bit of stuff to put away here still. Still organizing. Um, wonder, see I don't See if this will see if I'm in the picture. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I'm in the picture or not because well if I sit down I guess I'll be in the picture. The camera is uh, the Panasonic LX7. Now if you're wondering what happened to my Panasonic FZ300, it broke. And I had it 29 days, and I uh, returned it to Amazon and got a full refund. 
Amazon is really good. They they put the refund into my account uh, before they even receive the uh, returned camera. Uh, I really recommend I should buy stock in Amazon. Well, I guess that's it. I just wanted to update you. I don't know if I'm going to add on to this. I think I... I'm not sure. I'm either going to upload this or add on to this when I get... Well, what would be there to show you, really? I guess I'll stop and when I get the new monitor, then I'll come back and make part two and add that on here. So, I'll be back. Don't touch that mouse.